What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. For those of you that have been with me for a while, I guess I could say that, uh, <laughs> for those of you that might know that I used to do reactions to video game trailers and such a while back, back in 2017 of January, I did a reaction to this game's trailer, so to speak, and I was pretty excited about the fact that this Cosmo Horror title was going to be coming to fruition because there are older Call of Cthulhu games, but now this game is out to Day and for once, fucking finally, I'll be playing one of these games as it is released. I don't have the advantage of playing games a month before they come out because I'm not that important. But what I can tell you is that I am going to be taking the time to play this game today for you all, for those of you who want to enjoy it. And look, here we are Call of Cthulhu, and here it says Enter Madness. Call of Cthulhu is brought to you guys by Cyanide Studio, and the publisher is Focus Home Interactive, released today, October 29th of 2018. Let's enter madness. Adjust the brightness so that the darkest icon is barely visible. There we go. We'll do a little, I'm gonna cheat because I'm a sissy. And settings, credits, quit, new game, load game. Impressive. Most impressive. And obviously for graphics, we just want to go insane. Epic, 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 epic. There we go. <laughs> I mean, we'll do it. Who's ready for a new game? Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. An empty slot. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. It feels good to narrate some awesome shit again. <laughs> Let's do this. Into madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. Sane, hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Jesus Christ. Hold the skip. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Just endless... Mounds, oceans, endless everything, everything you could think about from every organism to every piece of flesh, guts, horror, distinction, and taint come from the bottom of the ocean. To you now, welcome to the world of H.P. Lovecraft. Fuck yes. You'll have to forgive me for a second while I adjust my web camera. And obviously, that may change as <laughs> we reveal some inventory uh, options in this game. So, can't go back that way. It obviously filled with nothing but gook. So the game is saved. And there is a sneak mechanic! <laughs> this feels awesome. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. I did not think... I honestly didn't think I would end up playing this game when it came out. I had a feeling that I would not get that head start. Might lose the motivation. and But yet, I owed it to people that were actually excited and commenting. There was even a HP Lovecraft channel. You know who you are. You're near 8,000 subscribers who commented and was nice enough to leave some of your own feedback to me. To crouch, press, control. Can't go through here. Jingle, jingle. Feels like we're playing Outlast, but it's going to be better. It's like a shrine or something in there. Ah, itchy. Itchy nose. I don't want to stop sneaking. So it's apparent we can't go through this gate, but we're going to try anyways. Yeah. Hands are covered in blood. Oh, yes. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Hello! Okay! I think it makes sense now. And to the docks we go. Into this endless abyss that lies below us. 
Um, yeah. We're just gonna walk away from that. It sounds like whatever it is is right below us in the dock, so we're not gonna stick around for too long, I don't think. Okay. Does it break it? Okay, so it's not that simple. We can't just break the chain using the light. So I'm obviously misunderstanding something here. Bolt cutter. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything down here, of course. I feel like this is a game where we shouldn't take our... We shouldn't try to breeze through it. Will that lead to the same room? I think it will. And... Snip! Oh boy. Okay. Should have broken this one too. More avenues of escape. Yeesh. I'm not liking where this is going. Actually, I'm fucking loving it. What a putrid offering. Ugh. Pretty gross, dude. These slain orcas and sharks. Jesus. Don't fight. You have been chosen. What? Is there something behind me? I mean, I don't know what that means. Oh boy. Oh, good lord. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. That worked out well. The effects were a little goofy, though. <laughs> oh, yes. The fucking era this is set in is gonna be wonderful. I hate whiskey. I hate whiskey, said Edward Pierce. Here we go. I wonder why I still take these things. Wonder why I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to these nightmares. Before a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Oh yes. Listen to this music. Jesus, dude. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. Certificate of membership. Wentworth Agency, United States Detective Agency of Boston. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. We're not leaving yet. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Ooh. The husband couldn't understand it. Case closed. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. It seems to me... Rotating objects could, uh... Could definitely, um... Case closed. So rotating objects could obviously show us things that we normally wouldn't see if we just kind of lazed about. No! Turn that back on! I'm not answering that. Not yet. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Would you look at that? And look at this. 
I should get rid of all this stuff. I should get should rid of you all though? This stuff. And this is interesting. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Oh, <laughs> confidential. The bar owner hired me like the way I didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Shut up! I'll answer you in a second. Let's see what else is on my desk. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ooh, Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Pierce? Oh, Jesus, okay. Skills. Skills. Sanity. Eloquence. Amateur, 20%. CP needed before next level. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving the skill will increase your chance of convincing or manipulating during discussions. A manipulator. Mmm. Strength, professional, 40%. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms, or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Investigation, professional, 40%. Investigation represents your investigation talents, investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object, and of picking locks. And then uh, psychology, I'm an amateur. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving the skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Occultism, novice. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improve the skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult ar artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. Nice. So how many points do we have? We don't have anything available to use. Prove objects discovered in the environment. So I have to find things and pay attention. My sanity. Mental trauma. Nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Muse Argonne Offensive. Holy shit. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades, without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Sanity. I am stable, confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind. You conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts. Your convictions and your perception of reality, your conclusions are logical and reliable. Lovely. You can navigate it by doing WSAD. So, dark water, inhabitants, you don't have any information yet, places. We've discovered one, the Pierce Investigation Agency. And this is our office, obviously. My private detective agency, contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed. And I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. But this place is mine for the moment. And the occult we have nothing on either. Clues, inventory, his lighter. My old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. You can really take a look at everything you have. 10, 7, 18, 19, 18. I'm really liking this guy so far, honestly. There's a lot to it, though. And uh, that could be both really good, not really bad, but just a little overwhelming compared to other games we may have played. Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Yeah, this dude is like... Couch potato. Have a drink or don't drink? Yeah, we're not gonna. We could, though. Bottoms Natural up. sciences, 
linguistics, archaeology. I have a feeling that would not affect our scores on YouTube very well, now would it, if we just had to drink? But this is Call of Cthulhu, and I say to you all gents, let us have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Uh-oh. That's not good. We should probably keep it together and be sober. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to avoid that from now on. Let's go ahead and take this stupid phone call. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Ugh. Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Well, you heard it. So, HCP available for character points. Medicine, occultism, psychology, spot hidden. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Oh, that's interesting. Eloquence, strength. I want to do one in occultism. Eloquence. And investigation. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Eloquence could come in handy. Could have probably done those better. But I think we're good to go. Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up. Okay, cool. I see where we're going with that. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? Oh my. As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pierce, are you still... There we go. There's our boy. I'm coming. <laughs> oh boy. Who's this quack? Hard to tell. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Hmm. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. Mm -hmm. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Mm -hmm. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. I thought that Hawking the was painter. outside my actual apartment. Yes. <laughs> One knows her work. The police accuse her of oh killing boy. her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. Mm. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Wow. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. My camera may go off for a second, guys. Or if, guys. on the contrary, you manage to detect <laughs> some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Mm. Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's what he said. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. He's leaving. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is about. 
What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins painting by the Sarah Hawkins. All right, examine the painting. Examine the Hawkins file. Dark water, occult. Art of Sarah Hawkins. Intuitive and visionary artist for some, overpriced imposter for others. Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent color and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Clue, chapter one. This painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks it is linked to the death of his daughter. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we can figure out from this A file. warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Shh. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but it can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. The police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a recluse life. There, with their only son, Simon. So, Mr. Pierce... What do you make of these elements? You shouldn't take this painting lightly. I remember fragility in the police report. We're not going to be dicks and say that. Something's not right with this story. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. Mm -hmm. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Try to think like a detective. Unlocked answer. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. There we too. go. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Answer. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police mm. are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. There we go. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Yep. I'm not going to mention the mental fragility. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. Okay. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. I mean, you have to Everyone ask. knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. I think we've asked all the questions we can. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house. Mm. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. 
And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Yep. Dark water. He left I the book. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. All right. Well, before we call it quits, let's Natural go ahead and go through our office. Linguistics, archaeology. And make sure that we've gone through, make sure that we've checked everything out. There's a book right here. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. It's all right. Okay. Inhabitants of Dark Water. Stephen Webster, age 63, occupation businessman. A wealthy businessman, well respected in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to see me in order that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. The man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove that his daughter was not mad. Charles Hodkins, age 41, occupation ship owner, deceased. Charles Hodkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater, the heir of a ship owner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Sarah Hawkins, deceased, age 33, occupation, painter. Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society columnist. A wealthy Boston heiress, known for her party going, chooses to follow her new husband and live as a recluse on the island of Darkwater? She disappeared from the front pages of newspapers and nobody heard any more about her. Even her death in a fire remained a secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, continues seeking the truth. Simon Hodkins, deceased, age 11. Occupation, just a schoolboy. Only son of Sarah and Charles Hodkins, he died in the fire that claimed his entire family. And clues. The painting. The shipping label. Okay. Belusa. The Belusa Boat Company. Is that a signature or some kind of symbol? 19th of June, 1912. Hmm. Well, guys, I think this is a safe place to call it quits for our part one of our Let's Play. And I honestly think that it might actually be safe to relocate our web camera, quite literally, over. <laughs> I think it'd be safe to move our web camera to the other side of the screen. So we might experiment with that next time. So, guys, until next time, if you like the video and you are excited for the release of Call of Cthulhu that I actually did a reaction for in January of 2017, feel free to hit that like button. Or if you've liked the video in the series so far, also feel free to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and others in the future, then feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification icon, the little bell by the subscribe button down below. But in until next time, guys, I'm going to call that quits. I'll try not to make these episodes too long. Oh. Dark water is off the Aha, top. We can't do it yet. There's just <laughs> but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during wow. hunting times. Wow, how amateur of, of me. Century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. I'm almost tempted to just move this web camera around for days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it seems unprofessional, so I'll read it to you guys. It says here, Darkwater Island. 
Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods really were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small island. The small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Rock painting found in a cave in Darkwater Island. Yeah. Pretty gruesome, honestly. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say that we can call it quits there. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat. We consult our diary. Places. Island of Darkwater. It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospitable island, whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs and sharp reefs, and with only one outlet to the sea, it is mainly inhabited by the descendants of whalers who set up a supply post there in the 1800s. It was hit severely by the collapse of this activity. I think that the only venture on the island that is still profitable is its medical institute. Able to take me to Darkwater. Yeah. I think we can kind of call it quits there, guys. So, guys, until next time, this has been Call of Cthulhu. Just released today. Excited to be playing it for you today. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you lovers of HP Lovecraft in the next video.